So here's something I saw the other day I've not seen in a long time. You know what I saw? I saw balls on a dog. <laughs> hey, remember that shit? Dude, I have not seen that since like the late 90s. I was literally sitting there looking like, I remember that shit. Dogs used to have balls. I remember that. How about you? Hit your friend, hey, look at his balls. You know, and everybody would laugh. No, but somewhere along the line, it became socially acceptable to cut your dog's balls off, whether there's anything wrong with them or not, under the whole fear of like, well, if we don't do it, he's gonna fuck another dog. They're gonna make more dogs. And what are we gonna do with all these dogs? They're not gonna have homes? What are we gonna do? I love that shit, what are we gonna do? It's like, dude, they're animals, just let them go. They'll be fine, they got fangs, they got claws, they'll form packs, you know? They'll help with the obesity problem in this country, you know? You come stumbling out of a cheesecake factory just like a herd of fucking Rottweiler running at you. You gotta run to your SUV, dive in Dukes of Hazard style, right? No, I'm pro dog balls. I am. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Dogs should be able to, you know, fuck who he wants to and... It's ridiculous. No, I want to get a dog. I want to get a dog. I've been dying to get a dog. And immediately, my girls immediately, well, we have to get it from getting a dog, we have to get him fixed. I'm like, why do we have to get him fixed? Well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't, I'm like, well, you're not a veterinarian. She's like, well, neither are you. Great, then it's a stalemate. Neither one of us knows what the fuck we're talking about, so let's not start cutting anything off the animal, right? So, of course, she's a female. She's got to go out and prove me wrong. Goes out and gets a book. Okay, look at this. See, it says right here. Um, you get your dog fixed, he's less likely to be aggressive. Hmm? Okay? Okay? No. No, listen. God, you're such an asshole. Just listen. And then it says, he's less likely to rip up the furniture. You know? Is anything, you know? I was just like, sweetheart, when we were a kid, we had a family dog. All right? He had his balls. Okay? Yeah, sure. Occasionally, he humped your leg, you know? But generally speaking, he just laid around, he begged for food, he came home, he was excited, but he wasn't wearing a raincoat, like, jerking off or something, you know? He lived... He lived for 15 years without incident with his balls, you know? No sexual harassment, nothing. No, I, I, think, I, think, it's, I think it's weird how, we're, like, human beings are trying to control the population of animals, you know? Like, any time the deer population gets out of control, some dude will literally get on TV and be like, all right, the deer population is up to about 17, 1800. Realistically, we need to get that number down to about five, six of them, all right? <laughs> To start them off, you got a gun, fucking shoot one in the face. <laughs> I'm just sitting at home like, what are the deer doing that's so bad for the environment, you know? They're gonna eat all the fucking grass. They're coming up to trees, just nibbling. Just nibbling. Dude, the deer didn't put a hole in the ozone layer, all right? That's not a bunch of dogs clogging up the freeways. It's us, right? We can fuck all we want. No one's gonna stop you. Could have, you could have 15 kids, have a 16th on the way. No one's gonna get on TV and be like, all right, Paul is still fucking. <laughs> Start them off, you got a gun, fucking shoot him in the face. Do what you gotta do, this guy, he's out of control. No, it's great. 